Hi everybody, my name's Jennifer Squires and here we make paint create sew and have fun. So, we are about a month out from Armageddon Palmerston North and I want to start making my cosplay like the, the headpiece which will be like the main focus of what I want to wear. I'm going to be wearing this blue corset, blue skirt, so it's going to kind of be this ethereal foresty type creature. I want it to have foam horns that kind of come out and around and wrap up around the side of my face like that. I want to make them out of EVA foam. So I'm using a pattern from Lost Wax. I'm using the Wow That's A Lot Of Horns pattern bundle and I'm going to be making this one here. Now I highly recommend anyone who likes making things from EVA foam go to Lost Wax purchase the everything pattern bundle. I did that about two years ago. I paid about $39 New Zealand and I get every single pattern he makes in the past and will ever make in the future and it is an amazing deal. It is humongous value. He's an incredibly talented individual to come up with these patterns. He has amazing hats and masks. He um The foam pirate hat I did is a lost pat wax pattern. He has full steampunk mech arms with like the gloves and the gauntlets he's got just amazing things among us helmets all sorts of really awesome stuff how to make a wonder woman bodice it's amazing he is amazing go and buy the everything pattern bundle but today i am making the small triangular ram's horns a that's what i want to make today so I'm not gonna do like a tutorial type video here. This is just me making it kind of vibe because he's already got an amazing video out on how to make all these horns. He's got unicorns horns, um, goat horns, maleficent adjacent horns, um, all of these amazing horn patterns in his that's a lot of horns pattern bundle. So ram horns. I have got all of my um, pieces drawn out on my 3mm foam. I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to use scissors. I'm not going to undercut anything. And I'm going to put it together with hot glue because that's what he does and because my contact cement has congealed and now looks like troll bogies that have a serious sinus infection. So we're going to pop you into an overhead time lapsey shot while I cut everything out. Okay, I've got all my pieces cut out, so I've got both horns. I outlined one horn in, in yellow and one in orange. Now I'm going to go back and check the pattern to see if there's any marking on the bottom to help it um, better sit on an angle on my head. Okay, so there isn't any um, curve line to help it sit closer to my head on this pattern, so I guess I'm going to make up the horns and then adjust it as needed. And it's going to be built into like a flower crown type situation and these are supposed to come kind of down and around and sit sort of like that. So I'm going to put you in an overhead shot, put some pretty music on and bust out the hot glue gun and get this thing stuck together.
Okay, so we have one horn kind of put together and that took about a half hour. It's pretty lumpy, bumpy and rough and ready. I'm gonna spend some time trimming it with some scissors and an exacto blade, but um, I'm not too fussed about it because I have an idea to make this look more like a natural ram's horn where the, it'll have the bits that spiral all the way around the horn. So I'm gonna, I have an idea for that. So I'm going to, with the power of editing, jump to having two completed horns. So, ready and... Okay. And they will sit kind of like this. With a big pretty flower crown. Now they are pretty rough and ready and kind of ugly, but that's fine. I'm going to get some macrame cord and glue it on in a spiral so that it has that natural kind of ring thing that ram's horns do. And then it's going to get painted. So that is the next step, is to bust out some macrame cord and hot glue them on. And then after that, I think I'll stop for the day. So I'll pop you into time lapse and we'll get that going. Okay, so I have the horns now with the macrame cord on it, so they will be like that. I'm going to do a coat of PVA glue on these off camera because waiting for glue to dry is just not exciting. So I'll do that and tomorrow we will come back and we will start the paint job. Okay, so it is the next day and the horns and the glue have dried but I realized this morning that there was an entire underside section on one of the horns that I forgot to even cover with glue so I have gone ahead and done that so that's going to need a little bit more time to dry so this is the under section here that's all wet so, ugh. Stay. so while we wait for those to dry, I thought we'd work on the flower crown part. So we have a bunch of faux greenery from the $2 store, which we will pull apart momentarily. But for now, we've got to build the wire support. And then we're going to cover it in... Cover it in some green felt to protect my head from the pokey bits. So first things first, let us measure around my head. 
this fabric tape measure and I want it to be slightly loose because the horns and the felt and everything will take up space. Alright, so my head, how am I going to wear this? Put my head down just so that I can get, I want to wear my hair down when I wear it. So if I sit this like that, I want it to sit kind of like that. So I'm going to take the measurement from there. And we have, there we go, 30, uh, 25 inches or 63 centimeters. So that's about how long our wire should Okay, so we have all of our wire pieces and we're going to braid them together. Now we have to get this round portion of the head for it to meet about here. So we've got duct tape, which is our new best friend. Always, always have duct tape in your maker's space. It is an indispensable tool. Alright. That the framework it's quite large it will go all the way down but with everything else that's going to go on it the felt the horns the greenery it should sit nicely about here on my head so the next step is to cut the felt and hand stitch it on and I'm gonna do that I'll cut the felt, but I won't stitch it together until after lunch. It was at this point I realised I'm not going to be able to get very far with the flower crown because I need the horns complete because I didn't know how much space they would take up. Thus started the saga of painting so many, so many coats of paint onto these horns. Okay, so it's been days and days of painting so many coats of blue onto these horns and you can still see the white, the brush strokes and... I'm running out of blue paint and the blue paint I am using is 
not cheap so I'm gonna cut my losses and I'm gonna spray paint it I'm gonna do this champagne mist color rust oleum paint and primer in one and we're just gonna go hell for leather and hope that this covers all of our sins <laughs> so let's paint To attach the horns to the crown, I first put a bead of hot glue along a line I've already drawn on the base of the horns and then on the other side of that I am putting a piece of EVA foam, covering that with hot glue and attaching it as well from the other side so it's glued down from both sides. Then I just go ahead and attach copious amounts of greenery with hot glue. I think in the end I used about 300 nearly half a pound of hot glue about 18 or 19 sticks
there we go and that is how I made my flower crown for Armageddon it's really secure on my head it's incredibly lightweight I put in some lights from the dollar store and I think that it turned out really well the pattern made some really sturdy horns so go visit Lost Wax, buy the Everything Pattern Bundle, it is a humongous amount of value. If you're coming to Armageddon, come and say hi. I'll put a picture right here of the rest of the fit. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Share it with your nan. Visit your local comic book store and purchase something. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.